So I'm going to show off what I've been doing uh, yesterday and today, which is uh, an interesting way to do pathfinding called collaborative diffusion. Now most people would do pathfinding with just taking a star and, and working through that normally. But in this case, um, what we have is we're going to have a bunch of zombie rabbits running around the screen and we want them to sort of communicate, to not all go and attack the same thing. And we also have a big open space, which normally you don't actually need to pathfind, so I probably wouldn't even use a star, I'd just use a raycast to tr get to where I need to. But uh, that doesn't really give us the cooperative behavior we want. So here's a little bit about how it works. You can take some plants and put them down on the ground. I can turn on a mode that'll slow down the game a lot, but show me the what amounts to a, a scent map, uh, where when I put down a plant, it starts emitting a scent uh, and if I were to spawn a zombie rabbit which I will do in a second you will see it starts tracking to the nearest scent so put down a rabbit it's a little confused because there's a bunch of scents around from when the other plants were there but it finds the strongest one pretty quickly and heads right for it now the other thing you'll see that the rabbit is doing is it's taking up the scent right in fact it just ate the plant so the scent is completely gone uh, and it's kind of hopping around looking for some traces, but there's not actually one on the screen, so it won't find anything. But what's interesting is if I put down two different plants, wait a bit while the scent reaches them, put down a second one, each of the zombies will go for a different one of the plants. Now, there's nothing in the code that actually has them talking to each other. It's just using the what amounts to sort of a flood fill of the background and a gradient over time. So now they're both equally lost. Uh, can show you drop down one there oh but some guy comes in before them he's going to reach it before them uh, they're gonna stop going in that direction and they're gonna start going for the other one in fact at this point they're all gonna start going for the other one but you can see they change their mind pretty quickly when they realize they're not going to be the one rabbit to get it so if I were to drop a whole bunch of these at the same time You'll see that they they don't go for the ones that are nearest. They go for the ones with the strongest scent, which means another rabbit has not already found them. So I think this is going to be one of the keys to our game, is that you're going to have to come up with layouts for the things that actually attract the rabbits uh, in the patterns that you want. So that's what I was doing yesterday and failed horribly at, and what I was doing today and did slightly better at. Uh, you can also see our also absolutely great farm art that we have now that uh, Jessica worked on. Uh, and I don't know if it's going to come through in the video, but we have some pretty cool walking animations and uh, rabbits hopping around. But my guess is that the frame rate is going to be too low to show that off. But the farm is pretty cool, and the collision on it uh, all works. So I can walk up to the fence here, walk up to the front door. In fact, I can show you what happens if you drop a thing up in the upper uh, left corner where it's actually pretty hard to get to, it will eventually start diffusing its way out. Though this might actually take quite a while. Maybe it's hitting a case where it won't diffuse out. That would be bad. Well, anyway, now you know the video's real. There's a horrible bug. And there you go. Uh, the other two rabbits give up. So that's our cool pathfinding algorithm.